Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. The first one for the month of December Aries and of course these are general collective readings will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. I'm sorry about my voice Aries but my cold and cough is back it seems but doesn't matter. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, so newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, well, this is going to be person A. This is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck judgment i have a feeling here aries from what i'm seeing of the cards here is uh, i think one person wants to sneak back uh, they want a rebirth of this connection but the other person i think is passing judgment and saying uh-uh i've cut away all the bullshit i'm sitting on my chariot and i'm going straight ahead to something new so let's see where this uh, battle of wills is going to take both of you Aries. Uh, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be and then we'll do the clarification. So let's begin. Ar no, spirit Aries and that person, uh, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and that person. And I think I forgot to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. One more spirit from this deck, please. Aries and that person. All right. Let's take a few more Aries from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. One more. Thank you. And just a few more Aries from a third deck as well, which I don't have on the table. So just give me a second. And here it is. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. All right, good to go, Aries. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I wasn't ready. I didn't really believe in marriage until I met you. I wish you could understand that this was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. I kicked myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. A part of me died when I let you go. I'm still healing. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. They keep saying you're coming back, but you're, you're not here yet. Are you coming back? I think the other person's got fed up. If you're not coming back, I might as well move on. I mean, all these tarot readers keep saying, your ex is coming back, your ex is coming back. I think the other person's got fed up and saying, enough, I might as well move on to a new love. How long am I going to wait for? At first, I thought it was only a sexual attraction. But it's so much more than that. I love you, mind, body, and soul. I want to reach out but scared of what you might say. That's the re reason they haven't come back. They're just scared. Sometimes I leave 
so you can know that you'll be just fine without me. So somebody was playing games. They would sneak away and look back and say, okay, I'll come back later. Let's see how they're doing or whatever kind of games this person was playing. All I really want now is to see you again. I'm shutting you out. I want to take a trip with you because I believe we are meant to be together. I want to marry you one day. <laughs> All right, Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. Of course, with our angel blessing card first. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Aries. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Aries spirit. Aries, thank you. And the card I have here for you, Aries, today is pause. Okay, things are absolutely still at pause, it seems. I think one person is still contemplating coming back and the other person is getting a bit fed up and saying enough is enough. All right, so let's see what's going on in your head spaces or your feelings right now. So I'm going to start with the energy of person A. Uh, let's see how person A is feeling. Then we move on to the other side. And newcomers who are absolutely new to the channel. Let me explain this. I'm just picking up on two soul energies in front of me either side, right? I don't know whether you're this side or that side or this is a man and that's a woman. These are just two souls who are somehow energetically still connected to each other and how they feel about each other and what's the most likely action they may take towards each other. If this is your reading Aries, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on. Okay, so let's start with person A's energy. Okay, person A, seven of swords. You're in your feelings, what's that? What's all that? Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. Are you planning to sneak back? Yes, because I think this person is now realizing this is my forever person. How do I sneak back? I, this is my soulmate. This is my twin flame or whatever. And uh, this is the person I want to marry one day. How do I now plan a comeback? The same person be as their perfect spouse. So explain me, explain a little more uh, person A. What's the seven of swords? Give me more. What's the seven of swords? What are you planning here? They want to start a brand new chapter. In the past chapter, come out of uh, this, you know, whatever games they've been playing or whatever depression they're in. They just want, they, they hate this discontent and sadness and boredom that they're feeling right now. And they want to end this chapter so they can start a brand new one, I think, with their person who they recognize to be their soulmate, their forever person. How do I go back? Should I take them flowers? Should I, you know, just reach out? What do I do? What do I do? What is the best way that I can sneak back into person B's life to? have this new chapter with them. So six of cups. What's the six of cups? Six of cups. Yes, they're, they're getting, getting really impatient. They're very impatient and very imbalanced and want to actually come back as soon as possible. So give me more six of cups. Six of cups. They are feeling the stagnation. They are getting a bit restless because now there is absolute stagnation. I think this person has been maybe trying to play the magician, maybe manifest that sooner or later, you know, my person will come back. I don't think that's really worked. And they are feeling now very unbalanced. Yeah, they are feeling shut out. Absolutely shut out. This person is feeling imbalanced, feeling, uh, you know, impatient I would say because as much as this person has been trying to manifest maybe that their person will come back to them they're not seeing that happening in fact they're feeling more and more blocked out even maybe energetically they're feeling absolutely blocked out so will you tell me what happened person A why are you feeling this way five of wands there was a fight there was an argument what happened here five of wands or were there other people who were uh, misguiding you or 
giving you directions as to what you should do okay one more five of ones yes there were other people there were other people who one second yeah i think there were other people here and uh, they put some kind of a moral compass on them uh, to say that you know uh, don't give person b another chance or um, just people who were maybe in their workplace or who had any kind of maybe financial ties with this person uh, maybe they could have been telling uh, this person that you know it's time for you to concentrate on your work or studies or you know your progress otherwise your business will go down this is not the time shut this chapter down um, this is the right thing to do at this time i think too many people were guiding this person maybe at that time and uh, they didn't know what to do nine of swords what happened nine of swords nine of swords nine of swords I think this person did know. They did know that uh, person B was their soulmate. I think even in the past, this person recognized that this is the person I want to be with. This is my soulmate. And uh, they were not either allowed to pursue pers the other person. They couldn't take that love offer. This person could have also been in some kind of uh, a depression, uh, maybe anxiousness or sleepless nights over i don't know what could be their money finance could be about yeah maybe about these other people who were you know uh, in their business all the time they didn't know they didn't know they, they they didn't know how to deal with these other people or other obligations where they feel they felt they had to do right and they felt uh, well they i think suffered on their own they suffered all this anxiety and sleepless nights on their own. They didn't have the control or the power to make their own decisions maybe at that time. They could have pretended, right? They could have pretended they were just being stubborn or something. But I don't think this person really had the power in their own hands to be able to make their own life decisions because of uh, too many either obligations or work or maybe other people who were depending on them and guiding them and telling them you should concentrate on work and this is not the right time end the situation now something something like that so tell me person a if that's the case how do you feel about the connection now how do you feel about person b and how do you feel about the connection now four of swords a uh, person A says, well, I have been giving it a lot of thought, Omkara Taro. I've been by myself, I've been praying, I've been wishing, and I've realized all that I did, none of that made any of my dreams come true. None of my emotional wishes, my emotional dreams have come true. I'm deeply unhappy. I'm deeply unhappy. Yes, I took a little time out to reflect on the choices that I made. And that's told me that without emotional happiness, I have nothing. Yeah, the only cup that they now truly, truly want is the one that they didn't take. Out of the 10 cups, 9 cups were empty. The only full cup now they recognize. Now maybe in their reflection time they realize that there was somebody there who was offering me a full cup of love, unconditional love. And what did I do? Now they're also kind of, I think, feeling that that cup of love that was being offered to them so generously now probably is closed off to them. If you notice very carefully, Aries on this card, there's a lid on that cup of love now. That's what they're feeling. So what's this choice? What's the lovers in reverse? What's the lovers in reverse, person A? Are you making some kind of choice now? one more yeah they feel they feel that the choice that they made they they probably made head over heart yes they made a choice which was head over heart maybe in the past which cost them all these 10 cups to be drained out 
all those nine cups plus the one big fat cup that was being offered to them by the other person all 10 cups got drained out now they're realizing that uh, the only thing that they need to do is pick up their own cup maybe and come and offer it am i right king of cups what are you planning to do what's this decision I'm, of course, your action card I'll take out later, but I'm a little inquisitive right now. What's the King of Cups? What's the King of Cups? This person never expressed their emotions. Yeah, now they're obsessed. They're absolutely obsessed by with wanting to be that equal match to this Queen of Cups. Yes, the choice again. The choice and the devil with the king of cups now they are obsessed with the thought that i want love in my life i want to be that equal counterpart to that queen of cups if they were offering me a cup of love i want to offer them a cup of love why didn't i why did i always hide my emotions because that gave me nothing but all the cups drained out my future is gone my emotional happiness is gone that's profound Okay, so, well, whether you'll take that action to offer that cup of love or not, I'll open later uh, person A. Let's go on to person B's side and see how person B is feeling about, about this connection now. So, person B, you have the Ace of Swords in your feelings. What's that? Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords, yeah. Person B says, I have the clarity. I'm absolutely cutting away all the past energies, Omkara Taro. I'm not look I'm not even waiting for a reconciliation. In fact, I've become strong and I'm only moving forward. I've become I am a queen. I'm going to get onto my own uh, chariot and uh, I'm going to go straight forward now. No more going backwards and waiting for a reconciliation. I'm absolutely clear cut in my direction. Chariot. What's the chariot? Where are you going? Yeah, person B says, they left me out in the cold. They left me out in the cold. They left me dark in my deep, dark emotions. But, uh, you know, whatever they were hiding, maybe... I suspect they had third parties or they had other people who were influencing them, whatever they were doing. But the point is they made me feel abandoned. They made me feel abandoned. They, they kept secrets from me. They never opened up their emotions to me. But my intuition told me that it's time now that I have to focus on my path forward. No more going backward for me. Okay, one more. One more for the chariot yeah person b says i've realized life is too short life is too short i'm not going to waste the rest of my life you know looking at the past and saying why didn't they and why did they do this and why did they abandon me and why why didn't you know they accept my cup i mean how long am i going to waste time looking at the past so i'm picking myself up and i'm uh, well moving towards somebody new where i can have a two of cups Okay, so why do you feel this way, person B? Person B says, because I've suddenly discovered I can have new love in my life. You know, I can move forward. I can find new love. In fact, believe it or not, Omkara Taro, I've realized I have a lot of options in my life now, which I can choose from if I want. Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, yeah, person B says because now I've come to that point, uh, I'm not really looking for jumping into a relationship or a commitment or a marriage straight away. I'm looking for, well, I'm looking for romance in my life i want newness in my life uh, looking for you know i was so loyal to my past person who i thought would commit to me and who i'd be together for the rest of my life i gave them unconditional love all i got from the past person was pain and hurt and you know betrayal they left me for dead and uh, it's like almost like i feel young again i want to experience you know, newness in my life. And yes, I am moving towards uh, new suitors. I am flirting. I want to. I want to go out. I want to 
see what else is out there instead of immediately focusing on another connection and then feeling hurt again i've been there done that i think i've been a very loyal person in the past but that really didn't bring me anywhere so why don't i check out my options now so seven of cups tell me seven of cups what's the seven of cups <laughs> okay person b says till then till i'm checking out my other new options well a i'm of course focusing on my pentacle on stabilizing my own life a brand new beginning for myself and then out of all these options i will select which which one of them is suitable to join me on this brand new journey of me uh, of mine and who can who who is available uh, who suits my needs to be at par with me who will also want to yes have the six of pentacles with me if i have three they will have three and we will have an equal give and take i will only give to those now who give me back in return so till i'm checking out my options i'm making myself come to that position where well I want a new partner in my life. I don't really need anyone. And then I'm sure I'm going to attract somebody who's at par with me. So person B, you tell me, how do you feel about uh, the connection now? How do you feel about person A? How do you feel about the connection now? Person B says, I just told you, Omkara Taro, I'm not going to settle for anything less than the six of pentacles. So what does that mean? For person A, six of pentacles, six of pentacles, okay, person B says, I was expecting a six of pentacles uh, from uh, person A all this while, you know where that led me, it just backfired on me, it backfired on me so bad, uh, Umkara Taro, that uh, I've kind of... Uh, cut those ropes which were keeping me tied and bound to person A. All that expectation, it just backfired on me. So now, yes, I'm shutting them out. I've got my boundaries up, I've got my barriers up and I'm being very discerning about this person now. I don't trust them. Seven of uh, Wands. What's the Seven of Wands person B in your feelings towards person A now? Yeah, person B says they were unwilling to make a decision for so long. They kept me at crossroads for so long. All they did was uh, break promises, break my heart. And again, seven of wands, clarifying the seven of wands. Person B really has their boundaries up. If person A has to ever, you know, come back with anything, they will have to bring a lot of these boundaries down. It's not going to be an easy, ch easy task for person A. Person B is totally fortified. I mean, you know, I mean, you know what I mean, right? Got their fort fortress up, and why? Because they've been hurt. They've been. I mean, person B's got their heart broken in the past by person A, and uh, yes, person B says, "I'm no longer waiting. I was at crossroads for so long." just waiting wondering whether they'll come back whether they'll rebuild with me but uh, well now i'm no longer waiting i am on i'm on the move not just you know towards my own destiny forward but also opening myself up to check out well my other options okay so so from this judgment card, from what I'm picking up, which was the overall energy, of course, I'll clarify this in the end. My instinctive feeling is that person A wants a rebirth and a revival of this connection. And person B is passing judgment and saying, uh, 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 I'm going off for a brand new life of my own. So now let's see what actions you guys will take. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Aries. And of course, you all know the cue by now, my old subscribers. I'm going to request you all now to just, just a reminder to click that like button. And uh, newcomers and repeating viewers who are yet not subscribed to the channel, if you could just tap that like button for me and the subscribe button, um, well, it's free for you to do so. And you can be part of our Omkara family. We welcome you in. And of course, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, you can also tap uh, the little bell icon that way then YouTube can notify you when new videos are uploaded. Thank you. Okay, person A, let's start with you. Uh, action, most likely action from your end towards person B or otherwise. 
two of pentacles. Always thinking, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Come on, it's time to take action, person A. What's the two of pentacles? What's the two of pentacles? Clarify that for me, please. Ace of Wands, that's good. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, two aces already. They definitely want to come back. This person definitely, definitely wants to come back. Uh, there is a two, two aces here. Like this is, I want a passionate brand new beginning. And this time they actually want to come and offer that Ace of Pentacles, which person B has been searching for for so long. Right. So person A is ready. They want to offer the, both these things. They do want to now, they're thinking of a way they can come in where they can actually set down roots. They want to plant the seed now. Whatever seed, this Ace of Pentacles, they want to plant it into the ground deep inside so something can flourish and grow. This person definitely wants to come back, Aries. I just feel that they are wondering what is the best possible way. To sneak back in without getting a refusal right so let me give you three more uh, person a maybe I can help you <laughs> towards this two of Pentacles what's this two of Pentacles give me three more for you what's this back and forth energy when you're so sure of what you want why this back and forth energy two of Pentacles five of Wands the three of swords and the empress this person has now re recognized person b to be their empress this is the person i want to have fertility growth abundance everything with but now the back and forth is of the heartbreak that they've caused this empress the fight the arguments the heartbreak i mean they haven't forgotten that i mean this person has also been in retreat mode and thinking about the past they know exactly what they've done. Uh, but just because now they recognize that this was my person and without the, the, this person's love in my life, my life is meaningless, absolutely. None of my dreams or wishes are ever going to come true. The problem here is, how do I now offer this? So this person is trying to find some sneaky way to come back in. That's what I can figure. Okay, so person B, let's, uh, well check with you any action from your end towards person a or otherwise person b's action for person a or otherwise page of swords in reverse what's the page of swords in reverse what's the page of swords in reverse person b how is that in action why is that in your action position King of Wands, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, absolutely, yeah, see that's the problem. Person B is busy trying to live their life now, right? They want to live their life, they want to uh, maybe meet up, maybe with uh, a King of Wands, uh, somebody who can match their energy. Uh, the Whoever person A is, I think whatever petty arguments or fights they've had, they feel if person A comes back to their life now, acting as the king of wands, acting as, you know, their equal match. Hey, if you're the queen of wands, I'm your king of wands. Person B, I think, immediately feels a little overwhelmed. They feel overwhelmed and burdened because they suspect that because of the past petty behavior, I'm sure they're actually still hiding under a mask of that knight of wands energy because maybe that's the way they portrayed themselves in the past they probably came in and you know made all those promises and uh, sweet talked them and just maybe had a great time with the person b and left so person b is a little skeptical of uh, even thinking that whether it's a good idea or not do I even want to accept this offer because last time they came in but turned out to be just a player. So do I really want to accept that again? That's just the thought of that. Thought of getting fooled again I think with by person A is burdening to person B. So I don't think person B is going to be making any offer, uh, may have a tough time even accepting an offer because they're immediately going to feel 
even if person A comes in as you know a king of wands, they're going to immediately remember the past and say, yeah, yeah, you're saying all these things, but I know what you want and I know what you're going to do after that. So that, like, that's what I said. It's going to not be very, very easy for person A this time because the guard around person B is very strong now. We saw the seven of wands twice. Seven of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands, which is like a fortress around this Queen of Wands to say, this time I'm going to protect myself. So Spirit, tell me, why was the Judgment card uh, overall energy? Is there a likelihood of this, uh, this person A and person B coming back together and starting anew? Or what is this? What's the Judgment card for this reading? King of Pentacles. Okay, King of Pentacles just flipped out, so I'll keep that out. Uh, I'll still take three cards. Judgment. What's the Judgment card? Please clarify the Judgment card for me, please, Spirit. This was the overall energy. The Fool. Okay. The World, my God, and the Ten of Pentacles. Unbelievable cards. Okay, so Spirit says, I think the choice somewhere lies on person A's end. If they come back as a king of wands, I don't think it's really going to work. For this thing to turn around, for this to have a new life, whoever this person is on person A's side would have to come fully committed. Uh, take full responsibility not only of their past actions, present but also the future. Uh, they have to take that risk to come forward, offer the world and commitment. This is like a king of pentacles is somebody who takes responsibility. That's again the spouse card, right? Somebody who's there forever. Whatever hap happens as king of pentacles is unshakable. They have to come in now and uh, offer this ace of pentacles to say, this time round I'm going to prove it with actions, with uh, my behavior, with, you know, staying power. And uh, this king of pentacles has to prove to their queen of pentacles that they mean business. So this is just spirit's suggestion to person A. If you want this rebirth, you can't just come in as a king of wands because immediately you will be, uh, well, seen as a knight of wands. All right, so beautiful reading, very, very, very deep. Uh, so that's all I have for you, Aries. Till next time then, love and light, take care, namaste.